Well, for football fans, the NFL draft is all about the picks and the players. For Cleveland Civic leaders, it is all about the visibility, visitors, and volume of cash coming to town. Rock Namick takes a look at the draft's potential economic benefits and costs and how the pandemic has changed expectations. The Cleveland Browns select Baker Mayfield. Two years of planning and promises of unrivaled fan fun and an economic windfall of $100 million. The closest Cleveland will likely ever get to hosting a Super Bowl. It's going to be incredibly cool for the tens and tens of thousands of people who will be here, locals and out-of-towners. And we're going to be watched by 50 million viewers around the country. They're going to see Cleveland unlike people have seen it before. The NFL draft growing each year since the league took it out of New York in 2015. Cities bidding against each other to host the event. The Greater Cleveland Sports Commission is behind this year's draft, the pandemic lowering expectations. It's not going to be what we saw. It's not elbow to elbow as far as the eye can see, but because we have such a great footprint, there'll be a lot of people. The price of the party is in the millions, though a breakdown of the exact costs is hard to tackle. The NFL won't disclose what it's spending to stage the event, televised to more than 45 million people. The Sports Commission and the community promised to cover between five and a half and six million dollars, raised largely through private donations, though public dollars and in-kind contributions are included. We don't write the NFL a check. It's all things that the community provides. It's rent, safety and security and marketing and signage and lots of different stuff. A copy of the agreement between the Sports Commission and the City of Cleveland obtained by 3 News offers some insight into local costs. Cleveland is allowing the NFL to use Voinovich Park and Mall C for free, but wants more than $100,000 from the Sports Commission for adding barricades and parking. It also wants $400,000 for police and security and money for new trees to replace ones cut down to make room for the stage. Last year, to open up the lakefront, the city spent $1 million to raise two old warehouses that it planned to remove for future development. The Sports Commission says the NFL draft, the upcoming NBA All-Star Game, and other one-time sports events make such investments worth it. These events collectively will mean somewhere between two and $300 million in new direct spending into the city. Sports economists often question such numbers, arguing boosters in their studies don't tally the true cost of taxpayers or follow spending that end up in out-of-town corporations like hotel chains or account for money that would have been spent on entertainment here anyway. My just sort of rule of thumb is to take whatever number that commission study gives you, move the decimal point one to the left, and it's pretty close. <laughs> is it a benefit? Yes. Is it a big benefit? No. The Sports Commission says it's focused on out-of-town visitors and their wallets. We're, we're having a third-party research study done, but it's looking very promising compared to what we thought it might be even just a few months ago. Mark Namick, 3 News.